Hi everyone, and welcome to your first beginning tennis class. Today, we're going to be talking about a few different topics. We'll be talking about the court, we'll be talking about the racket, and we'll start with rally progression one. Here's the tennis court. The tennis court has a baseline in the back, a service line in the middle, single sidelines for when we're playing one versus one, and double sidelines for when we're playing two versus two. The court is divided long ways by the center line, and is divided short ways by the net. The right side facing the net is called the deuce side. The left side facing the net is called the add side. This will matter more when we get to scoring. Now let's look at the racket. The tennis racket has three distinct parts with the face of the racket at the top, the grip or handle, and the neck in the middle. Be certain that you've purchased a full-size 27-inch racket. Now let's get into hitting the ball. We'll start with the rally progression. Starting with the racket in your dominant hand and your palm facing up. Simply drop the ball, let it bounce, and catch it. Notice that the knees are bending to bring ourselves down to the ball. Next, we can add a little hop. Don't let the ball go much higher than your head or it gets hard to control. Finally, we'll transition to hitting it. Still keeping our palm up and keeping control of the ball. Give it a nice little bump to bring the ball up. Now we can move to palm down. We'll follow all the same steps, but as we're dropping it, make sure that you drop the ball away from your body. Once we add the hop, it's especially important to keep using your legs. And of course, adding the hit will be the most difficult part. If you start to feel yourself lose control, that's okay use smaller, softer hits. If you have access to a partner, this next section will be great for you. If not, we'll work that out soon. We'll start this section by going center line to sideline with a partner. You're going to bump the ball to yourself once and then hit it across to your partner, who will do the same. This allows us to control where the ball is. You can see when the ball goes behind us, it's much more difficult to hit it where we want. So focus on keeping the bump in front of your body. Once you and your partner feel comfortable with this, you can go to one hit. Here, it's a little harder and we'll have to do a little bit more moving to keep the ball in front. This is more reflective of a regular rally and you'll see that the hardest part of this is choosing whether to use your forehand or backhand. Once you and your partner are comfortable, move all the way back so that you're going double sideline to double sideline. Here we can go back to the two hit rally, bump one to yourself and then across to your partner. Finally, we can go to the single hit version of the sideline to sideline rally. You can see that you've got to hit the ball pretty close to the single sideline for your partner not to have to move forward. This can be achieved by leaning forward into the ball as you hit, rather than trying to take a longer swing or hit it harder. Now let's add the net as an obstacle. We'll start with both players on the service line. If you want to do the two touch version, that's fine, but you should be ready to move right into rallying across the net like this. Don't be discouraged by a mistake, just get right back at it. One of the hardest things in tennis is starting the simple process of choosing forehand or backhand. Remember that the forehand is hit on our dominant side and the backhand is hit on our non-dominant side. In our opening exercises of rally progression, we practice the forehand with the palm up, 
and the backhand with the palm down. You'll also start to feel that hitting two, three, four balls in a row from this distance is somewhat challenging and it's going to get harder as we move further back. So take your time here, practice a few times, and get it to a point where you're comfortable with it. Finally, we enter the last stage of rally progression, baseline to baseline rally. In this phase, both players start all the way back at the baseline. As I mentioned, the further apart we get, the harder it'll be to control the ball. So be patient and set realistic goals. Hit two in a row, three in a row, and work your way up to higher numbers. The ball should only bounce one time, but you can let it bounce two or three times for now as you're learning. In our next video, we'll talk a little bit more about rally progression, but for right now, this is all you really need to worry about. Work hard, have a great week, and we'll see you soon.